All right, guys, we got Bitcoin pumping today. We got some altcoins pumping today. We got XRP pumping today. We're going to talk about it. Uh, Bitcoin 29,569. We hit 30,000, I don't know, like this morning. Now we're down a little bit. XRP is on a roll up to 52 cents, pushing 53 cents. Um, there was some XRP uh, legal news that we're going to talk about. Solana has been pumping hard, mainly because I think they have that Solana conference. As you guys know, I think Solana is a big pump and dumper, but overall, I think it's a scam. Cardano doing absolutely nothing. Um, I saw that Hex, you know, a lot of people uh, were telling me that Hex was dead. I was an idiot for talking about Hex. I was wrong. And I said, well, if Hex, if Hex doesn't pump by 2024, you're right. But you have to ignore the FUD. You have to ignore the short-term drama. And um, when you do that, a lot of times in crypto, you'll come out on head. So uh, Hex up 16% uh, today. So obviously, Hex still has a way to go, but obviously it's not dead. A dead coin doesn't pump 20% in a day. So, you know, anybody who told me Hex was dead in my comments, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and you have to say, wow, I'm over emotional. I'm not going to do well in these markets if I don't calm the fuck down. Okay, why is, uh, why is XRP up today? Big news, as you guys know, um, XRP was not deemed a security a couple months ago, and that pumped XRP up to like 90 cents. But of course, the SEC was still going after the founders, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. SEC has dropped all charges against XRP and its founders. Uh, SEC drops charges against Ripple executives, Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson in ongoing litigation. Big, big news for XRP. Uh, that's why I've been telling you guys for the last month, I'm buying XRP, even though I'm not a big fan of it. In a court filing on Thursday, the SEC agreed to dismiss allegations against Ripple, Ripple's chief executives. The move comes month. The new move comes months after the Southern District Court of New York said Ripple's offer and sale of XRP of digital assets uh, did not amount to the offer and sales of a security. Roughly three years ago, the SEC accused Ripple Labs, which has close ties with XRP of violating securities law by raising $1.3 billion through XRP sales to investors. The legal trouble kept XRP under pressure even as broader markets surged. So big, big news for XRP. Like I said, guys, I'm not a big fan of XRP. I actually think it is a security, but whatever it is, they got away with it. And XRP did not have a bull market uh, in 2020. There's a lot of bag holders. There's a lot of pumpers. There's a lot of shills. It's a giant community. I do think XRP is going to hit $5. Not $389 like all the crazy people say, but I think XRP is probably going to hit $5 um, by this time next year. And I think you have to be a fool not to be in it. I think Robinhood is going to relist it after all this. There's already rumors Robinhood is going to relist it. A bunch of other exchanges are going to relist it. It's already back on Coinbase, I think, Binance.us. It's a no-brainer. Whether you like XRP or not, I am not a fan of it. I just see it as a way to make money. I'm not a big fan of pharmaceutical companies, but I would totally buy a pharmaceutical company stock if I knew they had some amazing new you know, therapy coming out. Okay, so you can't get emotionally attached to these coins. You have to know when to, when to buy them and when to drop them. I will drop XRP once it pumps. In fact, I'll probably sell half my XRP once it hits $1 or $2, but you cannot ignore the fact that XRP is going to be a top gainer next bull market. I mean, the hype is is just there. So that's what Rand has to say. XRP, well, the Ripple against the SEC case. So you remember that Ripple won the first part of the case where the judge basically said, look, the selling of securities, the selling of tokens to non-institutional investors is not a security. You'll, you'll remember that. Then Ripple said, then the SEC did what they call an interlocutory appeal. An interlocutory appeal is where in the middle of a trial, you try and convince the judge that she's got to go back and change something that she said. And the judge said, look, there's no interlocutory appeal. And then the last part was that there was supposed to be a case against Chris Larson, who was one of the founders of Ripple, and uh, Brad Garlinghouse by the SEC. And what happened was that now the SEC, the Plaintiff Securities Exchange Commission, respectfully notifies the court of the stipulated dismissal of the pending claims against defendants Christopher Larson, Christian Larson, and Bradley Garlinghouse. Which basically means that this is not a settlement. This means that the SEC basically gave up and dropped this case and basically said, 
we surrender in this case. We're taking a loss. There, we probably don't have a case against you, and therefore we're not going to actually take this case to court. Big, big news, guys. Um, the you know, Rand kind of says something else where it could be a double-edged sword because now that this case with uh, – with Brad Garland House is over, XRP, or excuse me, the SEC now has, they can actually appeal the other um, litigation through the SEC where the SEC said it wasn't a security. So there is a possibility that the government's going to come in and appeal um, the previous uh, SC, uh, XRP is not a security. But even if they do, that's like, that's just something that's going to drag out another couple years in court. And I don't think they are. It really seems to me that the writing is on the wall now with the SEC, Gary Gensler. I think he's had so many losses now. Um, you know, the other big news is that the big, the um, the, the Bitcoin ETF, guys, is guaranteed going to happen within the next year. It could happen at any moment. The, the, it could happen tomorrow. It could happen next week. It could happen by the end of the year. Um, everybody's talking about the Bitcoin ETF. Uh, the big players, BlackRock, all their all their big executives are talking about it. Like it's like a no brainer now. Even an interview with Gary Gensler, he's pretty much saying, "Well, you know, we're we're looking into it." Um, it's like a no brainer. So like. <laughs> I implore you guys, you want to be in Bitcoin and crypto before this ETF is approved, because once this ETF is approved, Bitcoin's going to $45,000. I mean, it's going to pump hard. Your altcoins are going to pump hard. So here's from Coinbase. Coinbase is confident a U.S. Bitcoin ETF will be approved after SEC's court defeat. Coinbase is confident that a U.S. Bitcoin exchange traded fund will be approved by the Securities and Exchange Commission. The company's chief legal officer, Paul Ground, told CNBC. He didn't say when that's likely to happen and added that the caveat that any decision would ultimately be up to the SEC. But Gruwal said it's it's likely now that the SEC will approve a Bitcoin ETF soon, highlighting that regulatory failures in court to block Grayscale from converting its GBTC Bitcoin fund into an ETF. So it looks like it's happening. Um, you know, this is like I've always said with crypto, you have a treasure map. It's like a 99.99% .99 chance we're getting a, B a Bitcoin ETF, you know, within the next few months. And here's Kathy Wood talk. I mean, CNBC has been like shilling this as well. CNBC has been talking about this Bitcoin ETF for the last month. They've had Kathy Wood on, like every executive BlackRock guys on. Obviously, the Bitcoin ETF is happening. And you guys have to understand that, that it's happening. And the, the pump, even if you're just going into crypto for a short term, like, oh, I don't even like crypto, but you know, but wow, even if you don't like crypto and you just want to be in crypto short term, you're going to get a giant pump off this Bitcoin ETF. Bitcoin ETF, it looks like the SEC is going to be forced to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF. What of any communications have you had with the SEC about your application? Where are we in this whole thing? Well, uh, it was uh, publicized and disclosed, uh, I think it was last week that... Um, we had responded to uh, SE, the SEC's request for information around our, our uh, Bitcoin filing, uh, and we responded. And that's basically all we can say. Uh, I think many people think the fact that the Fed, uh, I mean the Fed, the SEC um, chose to ask questions is a change in behavior. Uh, and therefore, I do think hopes are rising that a or a number of Bitcoin ETFs will be approved. And that's another thing. Once the first Bitcoin ETF is approved, you're gonna see a bunch of other ones approved as well, possibly even at the same time. So I've been making crypto videos now for the last year and a half. I said the Bitcoin ETF is gonna coincide exactly with the 2024, uh, excuse me, the 20, oh yeah, the 2024 Bitcoin happening. It looks like I'm gonna be proven 100% right on that one because if we get a Bitcoin ETF within the next couple months, then you have the halving two months later, and we're going to be going right into that bull market, right into that Bitcoin halving, and things are going to be absolutely exploding. This is like the like you know it was so boring the last couple months in crypto, but things are getting so excited now. You know, I'm back to my old ways, listening to crypto videos all night, waking up at three in the morning, putting on a crypto podcast. Like things are heating up, guys. And if you can't feel it, if you can't see it, then you got a problem because no matter. Even the dumbest person right now should be able to feel what's coming in crypto. We had a taste of it. Remember, we had that we had that fake news. We had that you know that Bitcoin ETF fake news. We went from twenty six thousand to almost thirty one thousand dollars, and then boom, that, that was all within thirty minutes. Boom, a four thousand dollar pump. What do you think is going to happen when the real news comes out? Bitcoin's going to go crazy to forty forty five thousand dollars, and then a month later, your altcoins are going to rip it. 
And some altcoins are going to rip it along with Bitcoin, maybe even XRP. Um, well, it's K. Let's see what else. Cardano, Cardano, Cardano. Look, talk a little about Cardano. Yeah, Cardano has been kind of stagnant lately. Cardano's first ever social media app goes live on October 18th, 2023. Cardano's spot launched Cardano's first ever social media application. The emerging social media network platform built to empower and connect Cardano enthusiasts is now all set up to help native projects is you know the only reason i'm even talking about this article is because i want people to know cardano cardano i know it's not doing much i know you listen to your favorite youtube shillers right now like crypto ran or whoever they don't talk about cardano and when they do they shit on it remember these shitter these guys these big youtube guys who are shitting on cardano were also the same guys telling you to buy luna and ust and every scam in the book they were telling you cardano wasn't going to do anything back in 2020 either when cardano was going between two cents and three cents and five cents they were also telling you cardano wasn't going to do anything um, then all of a sudden Cardano pumps up to $3. Cardano always lags behind because it's not a hype coin. Let me, let me just let you guys know here how, how it goes. You know, Bitcoin pumps first along with Ethereum. Then you get, you get hypey, hypey, scammy type, you know, shilling type altcoins. They pump next. And then once the, they fizzle out, then you get the actual legitimate, altcoins like Cardano, Litecoin, um, you know, thing, coins like that pumping Theta. The, the, legit, the legitimate altcoins always pump last. And those who hold will be rewarded. I know a lot of people right now are saying, oh my God, XRP is pumping, Solana is pumping. Yeah, but go, 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 go find a YouTube channel for XRP. It's a bunch of shillers talking about 589 and how it's going to the moon. These are the same guys who were telling you to hold XRP in 2020 and you made absolutely no money. They're the same guys who are, who are telling you to buy Luna and UST and Celsius and BlockFi and you know taking money to, to promote those scams. So you have to see past the bullshit if you want to make money in these markets. So Cardano is going to do absolutely insane. I still believe Cardano is going to be five, ten dollars by this time next year. All right, any other major? Oh, did I talk about Hex? I, okay, we talked about Hex. Hex was pumping. Everybody told me Hex was over. I was an idiot for talking about it. Now, of course, Hex is pumping. Let's see if there's anything in the top 50 uh, that we should talk about. Uh, VeChain's not doing too much. Hasn't pumped yet. Mantle. I've never heard of that coin. MLT. That's up 9%. What's it? Oh, Bitcoin S. Man, I'm so tempted. As much as Bitcoin SV is such a shit coin, I'm so tempted to put like a $500 into Bitcoin SV and just hold it into the next bull market. Because it just pumps so freaking hard. I don't know why. It just does. I mean, it pumps with Bitcoin, but sometimes it just pumps by itself too. I might do that. I don't know. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Let's check our MicroStrategy stock. MicroStrategy stock, 351. We were talking about it, what, at like $100 on this channel like six months ago. So I hope you bought your MicroStrategy stock. Coinbase stock's doing absolutely insane. Um, Coinbase is up to, I mean, everything's doing absolutely insane. There's no other way to put it, guys. Like, if you can't feel the fire, all I'm letting you guys know is if you don't get into crypto before that, that Bitcoin ETF, there's no point in even being in crypto. It's like you missed it. You missed it. Now, you didn't miss it for the altcoins, but if you don't buy your Bitcoin before Bitcoin ETF, I mean... Like, what's the point? Like, what's the point? You might as well just be in the stock market. So this is really your last chance, the last weeks, the last days that you have to make, to get into these coins, to be prepared. You need to be, you need to be loaded up into the rocket ship, right? You need to be strapped in, ready to go, you know, ready to take off. And a lot of people are just still so afraid. And even with everything amazing happening right now, people are still big pussies. All right, guys, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.